thought that you might like to see what's inside my housekeeper's cupboard. So let's take a look in this cupboard. I don't really love this one. This is my least favourite. I mean, look, as though things are just everywhere, but there is actually lots of logic into how I've stored stuff. Rather so. than getting everything out, what I'll do is I'll show you as I put everything back in. A little different. Welcome and happy Valentine's Day. It's a very special day here today at Star Corner. Yes, it is Valentine's Day, but that's not it. It's actually Mark's birthday. So I'm planning a special meal for him this evening, a few of his favourite things. There's a Christmas pudding, which was put by at Christmas time that I made last year. This is absolute favourite. So we always have Christmas pudding for Mark's birthday instead of cake. And then the other week when it was Imogen's birthday, I made some big lasagnas and I kept some of that back, some of the minced meat mix. And I've just made Mark a lasagna too. So we'll have lasagna, salad and Christmas pudding. Sounds good, doesn't it? Anyway, I thought that as I'm planning my table for this evening, I thought that you might like to see what's inside my housekeeper's cupboard. This housekeeper's cupboard was bought a few years ago. We absolutely loved it and thought it was perfect for Star Corner. I knew that I could keep all my bits of china in it and it would just be perfect. So it's currently in the kitchen and it is finally going to live in the boot room through there. But I'm often asked about it. This was not a thrift find at all. This cost thousands, but it was worth every penny. Right, before I show you the good stuff, let's just quickly whiz through the drawers very quickly. So in here, pen, paper, tape measures, packing tape, my business cards for Sugden and Daughters and also some business cards for Elegantly Knackered Style. That's that. Various tablets and supplements, marks, blood pressure tablets, aspirin, baking foil, cling film and baking parchment. The all important herb and spice drawer, they're all put in this cupboard, there's lots of them. When we have a beautiful built-in pantry in this space, We'll work out how to display them, for, but for now, they're all in that drawer. And the bottom one, not at all exciting. Dishcloths, tea towels, washing up paraphernalia. This one, trays of varying shapes and sizes. I must admit, some of these are actually for sale on my website, so some of them I don't use, some of them I do. But this was a great one. This was a birthday present last year for from my friends, my 50th. So it says on the back, happy 50th birthday, love Joe, Peter and Grayson. So they bought an old tray and um, painted that on and Grayson is the dog. This one, a tea bags, spare coffee, lunchables for my children, nuts. So just a few grocery items, spare cushions and cushion covers in these two and that one's my photography equipment, so tripods, lenses and things like that. The ever so useful spare bag drawer. So I've never been so organised, this just feels so good to have everything and I know exactly where everything is, so that's really good. This one is full of all my lovely tea towels and kitchen cloths. I'm not saving them for best, um, but I do want to save them until the kitchen is actually done. So I've got some lovely new ones. That's one that Mark and I bought that it's screen printed. It says off chump, which is some of the London's lost words and phrases and off chump means no appetite. So we like that one. That was a present from my parents when they were in Northumberland, I think. Some lovely screen printed Thornbeck and Peel ones. A Christmas present from my auntie. Another Thornbeck and Peel. This was my latest one, an Emma Bridgewater one that I got from my sister for my birthday last week. So as I said, not saving them for best, just saving them until the kitchen is done. And I have a sink really. Got some lovely um, French linens, beautiful dyed French linen from my friend in France. These are ones that I found myself. So that is absolutely rammed 
with loveliness. Can't wait to use them. This is my mug drawer. So you may have seen that I do drink out of massive mugs. So this one is a recent birthday present, a Cornishware one from my family. You've seen me drink out of this one before too, but guests tend to get Emma Bridgewater mugs and I've got a drawer full of Emma Bridgewater mugs and a few more Cornishware ones. There's also jugs in here of all different shapes and sizes. And these bottom two are my candles. So this is my dinner candle drawer here. Lots of different colours, but all dinner candles. So I need to decide what I'm using for Mark's birthday this evening. And this one is just for my tea lights, which I've got in vintage tins matches because I do like using lovely matchboxes. So whenever I see nice matchboxes, I tend to buy them. That was a Christmas present from my sister. This is in there. I don't have any fragrance candles anymore at the moment, but if I had any spare ones, they would be in there. So that's the not so exciting bit. Come closer and I'll show you in here. Oh my goodness, what a panic. I made the lasagna earlier and I had it out on the side. I've got the Christmas pudding out as well. And I wasn't expecting to see Mark all day. He doesn't tend to come in um, during the day. And then I just saw him pull up in the car. So I dropped what I was doing. The lasagna ended up being just placed in the sink. The Christmas pudding went in a cupboard. <laughs> And uh, anyway, I don't think he suspects anything. So hopefully it will be a nice surprise when he comes in later. But sorry for the little break. Let's get back on with this. So let's take a look in this cupboard. So one of the first things that I need to do is decide what tablecloth and napkins I'm using. And as you can see, I've got quite a collection. I've been collecting tablecloths for many, many, many years. And they come from all over the place. This red one and another one of these white ones, these belong to my grandma. So this red one was definitely my grandma's. And then there's one in here that was actually given to my grandma and granddad on their wedding day and it's hand painted. And fortunately, it's got a few holes in it now. Um, I'm not sure whether a moth has got to it. I think a moth probably has got to it, which is such a shame. But anyway, these beautiful French linen ones come from my friend Gail in France. She buys antique linens and then naturally dyes them or just dyes them. And so I've got some beautiful ones from her. Blues, greys, greens, yellows, all sorts. Most of these beautiful coloured napkins come from Gail. I'll put a link to her Instagram account in the description because she ships her beautiful linens and French wares all around the world and she's really worth checking out she's so lovely too so um yeah this is one of my favorites the black and white check and then there's another black and white bird i do love black and white as you probably see the mug's black and white my dress is black and white my table linen table cloths are too so yeah lots and lots of different colours. I don't think I'm ready to decide yet which colour I'm going for for this evening's table. It won't be pink for Valentine's Day, I'm telling you that, but we'll see. Right, so moving on, we have lots of this Indian tree, which I've spoken about before. I don't really love this one. This is my least favourite, but my husband likes it. So Mark likes it because it reminds him of his grandma. So we have quite a collection of Indian tree and that comes out with, because we've got so much of it, we tend to get that out if there's a big gathering or um, sometimes it, we just use it if we're having an Indian or something. And this was Mark's Christmas present, which you may have seen me buying last year at my local antique market. So that's that. Start off with the thing that I like the least. And then, oh, you have to excuse the dust. I've got a few of these beautiful French porcelain oyster dishes. Now, I think these might be on my website. 
maybe they haven't got onto my website yet, but these are meant to be for sale. But oh, they're really beautiful, aren't they? I don't eat oysters myself. I think they'd look really lovely on the wall. So if they're not on the website, I must get them on my website soon. So moving on. Now I have been into china and crockery for so many years and um, I used to live near to Kettering in Northamptonshire and they have a big amusement park called Wixseed Park and lots of the teenagers in the area would go and I'm sure they still do would go and work at Wixseed Park through the summer but no not me I applied to be a Saturday girl in a china shop and I got the job and I loved that job it was just full of amazing, beautiful, beautiful crystal and china. It's called Church's China. I don't think they're, well, they're not around anymore, which is such a shame. But my love of beautiful things has been since I was a little girl. So moving on, I have a basket full of beautiful vintage, I should say antique cutlery. So I'll need to get that out for this evening. Lots of different jugs. You never know when you need a good jug. So um, gravy, custard, again, I'll be getting one of these out this evening. Quiche dishes and serving dishes, a pretty little French heart-shaped dish from Gale again. This rather lovely bowl was a Christmas present a few years ago from my friends. Now they are on YouTube and they are, let me think about this, vintage farmhouse antiques and they actually sell lots of beautiful china. They're sort of experts in their field. Platters, plates, things like that. So moving on down, lots of little sauce boats, butter knives, various sauce boats, more sauce boats. Now I, when I'm setting a table, I really do like to think what we're going to use, how it's going to look. And I honestly use every single thing in my cupboards. If it wasn't used, I wouldn't, I wouldn't um, have it. Pretty little leaf dish. These um, are my daughters. I've got a few of these little rabbit egg cups my shell dish collection which you saw only last week some really pretty little vintage bowls which we use for trifle or if we were just having a small bit of christmas pudding we might use those but i think we need something a bit bigger for this evening now i absolutely adore these these are french little porcelain science dishes but i use these for nibbles they i just love them I bought them to sell and then just couldn't part with them. Just love those. Really, I should have those out on display when the, the kitchen is finished. Now there is a story behind this set. This is a Davenport set. I can't remember what it's called, but it's got a beautiful leaf and strawberries on it. And when I went to uni, where lots of my friends would have gone to um, Ikea or something just to buy their crockery. No, not me. I had to go into a beautiful china shop and buy some beautiful china. So I had a, a big plate, a bowl and a massive teacup and saucer. I know I've got it somewhere. It's still in a packing box. But anyway, last year when I went to Devon and I did do a, a vintage show and tell there so i'll put the link up here somewhere not sure where it's going but i saw a whole set of this and i swooped in and i bought it all and i love i love 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 using this in the summer outside with a nice salad on believe it or not at one point i only had white crockery i think it was probably trendy wasn't it in the 90s just to have white crockery and i do love it now but as you can see my color palette has extended a bit i'd completely forgotten about these beautiful french porcelain dishes absolutely beautiful only three of those oh, i must use those must make some soup really love those completely forgotten about them more of the davenport there 
pick up some saucers in the Davenport and then within this cupboard there are things that are on my website as well. I don't tend to sell too much china. In fact, when I started selling antiques, that's actually what I started off doing. I was sending it to Australia and America and um, but yeah, then I sort of moved on from that, <laughs> probably because I kept keeping most of it. But I do know that these beautiful, beautiful spode dishes are currently on my website. Love that one. I think that's flowers. They are in pristine condition. I haven't used them. I, I know that the minute that I actually put these on the table and use them, I won't sell them. So currently they are on my website. Right, cupboard one done. Let's move on to the other one. It may look as though things are just everywhere, but there is actually lots of logic into how I've stored stuff. So I've got lots of vintage glass here, beautiful little ice cream dishes, more ice cream dishes. I bought these the other year and there's only two. I thought they were really, really pretty and I've never used those. So I must try and think of something to use those, but there are only two. So I really need to wait until it's just Mark and I doing something romantic together. I keep talking about romance today. It must be because it's Valentine's Day, but we're really not that romantic. There's a beautiful sugar sifter in here. Again, perfect for Valentine's Day. Uh, no, pancake day. That was yesterday. I think when we come back from our holiday, which is next week, I think I'm going to have another pancake day. Just make it up. Don't need to just have it on the day, do we? Right, so let's start at the top. Lots and lots of cookbooks. These go deep. There's, there's more behind here. I've got more in boxes as well. Absolutely love a good cookbook and we do use them all the time. So let's start up here. We have a lot of platters, but we also use a lot of platters. I love nothing more than having a platter lunch. It's a really lovely one, very old. It probably looks a bit mucky, but that's just because it's so old. So I've got cream ones and pink ones. That's a pretty one that matches our everyday plate set. Oh, that's a lovely spode one. So very often, if we're just having a lunch, we throw everything on a platter and have a platter lunch. More cream ones, pretty one, lovely blue and white one. So whatever colour combination I'm doing on my table, I normally have a platter that will go with it. Oh, I love that one because actually this is one that Rowan really fell in love with when we were at an antique market. So I bought it. So that one gets used quite a lot because I just think it's so nice when your children actually like the things that you've got. In fact, actually, Rowan has her eye on lots of my blue and white china. When she moves out, she thinks that she's going to take some of it with her. And I think I'll let her as well. This is actually quite nice to do this because it gives me a chance to really look at everything. That's another lovely one. Oh, beautiful one. How gorgeous is that? Let me just pop this one down. Um, the reason why I'm going right to the bottom is because this was a housewarming present from my friend. And I love this because I would love just to have black and white transferware. So hard to come by. And we saw that. Unfortunately, it has got a chip in it now. And normally, if things have got chips in, I don't like to use them, but it is underneath. But um, on the day that we moved in, my sister and her husband came up to help. And we it was in January. And it should have been the day we moved in, it was raining. The day after when my sister came up, the sun came out. And in the middle of January, we went outside and we all stood outside having a platter lunch. And this was the platter that we used. I think it's my favourite. Moving on, this is a really, really, really special set. This is Royal Dalton. And I love this one. We use this this year for Christmas. And I was lucky enough to pick up a whole set of this at my local auction. So that's all there. And it's really quite a formal set for me. And most of my 
china is very relaxed but just love the color you'll see that i have some napkins in that color as well it goes beautifully with the black and white check tablecloth so absolutely love that set just noticed this little box as well it's a little mug that i bought many years ago and it's still in its box because it's actually way too small for me to really use you've seen the size of mug that i like but it's absolutely beautiful and i love the sentiment on this it says rather walk with a friend in the dark than alone in the light i love that in fact recently i've been thinking about drinking mint tea because i drink green tea at the moment but maybe that would be really nice with a bit of mint tea in it so i might keep that one out well this is a nice one i'm sure in a box somewhere in a packing box i've got some more of this this is spode and look at that how pretty is that i'm so glad that i'm doing this because i've just looked at this thinking how nice i think it's called grassmere let me put my glasses back on a delamere delamere rural and it's so pretty i'm going to make sure that i use these soon as well it's so pretty so this is where my black and white transfer wear continues on the top shelf with oh oh there's Rowan. Let me just go and let Rowan in. Hi, Poppet. Good day. Yeah. I'm just I'm just doing a walkthrough of my kitchen cupboard. <laughs> You'll never believe what happened. I've made the the lasagna and got the Christmas pudding out. And you know, Dad was on a really busy day, and I wasn't going to see him all day. All of a sudden, um, the lasagna is on the table, and uh, he, I saw the car pull up, so the lasagna ended up in the sink over there, just placed in the sink, and then the Christmas pudding ended up in the cupboard. Because I don't want him, I don't want to spoil the surprise. <laughs> anyway, I, no. Hmm. All right, I'm just going to carry on with this. So yes, this is where my collection of black and white transfer wear continues this is just a little one that mark bought me a few years ago and uh i haven't really found we don't have sugar so i sometimes put some flowers in that and then this is a beautiful french one a little french tureen oh showing you beautiful ladles showing you all of this just makes me want to go back to France and do a bit of hunting of beautiful antiques. This is another lovely jug. Love this so much. This is Dalton as well, I think. Yeah. Carnival. So that's a nice one. This is a beautiful salad, um, fruit salad set. So we will use these for Rowan's birthday because Rowan likes having a trifle for her birthday. So we'll have to get those out. Don't you pop it? Yeah. Do you want me to stop filming? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Just one moment. Right, Rowan is now home. She wants to have a cup of tea with me, which is fine. I'd love to do that. So I'll pick this up tomorrow, but we have decided what to use for Mark's dinner tonight. So we're using the pale blue and we're going for one of our favorites so the mix and match blue and white plates so a bit of everything there so if i'm lucky rowan will help me make the table now set the table see you tomorrow just finished recording went to watch back what i'd recorded and have realized that there's no sound so rather than getting everything out what i'll do is i'll show you as i put everything back in so there's a few bits that i didn't take out so let's see if we can do it in a methodical order look at this beautiful cornish ware 
jug bowl. I'm not sure what you'd call that. Great for custard. Just lovely. It would look lovely, wouldn't it, with some flowers in it as well or some bulbs. So that is part of my Cornishware collection, as is this cute little bowl. Got various teacups and saucers there, some spode and some of the beautiful Danish ware that I love to collect. And then we had lots of um, saucers and little plates. Oh, there's a willow pattern one there, but no cup to go with that. And some more little plates there. Some slightly bigger ones. So all in the blue and white theme. Love blue and white. And I really like to use it often, especially in the spring and summer months. It's a little egg cup there. I bought these cute little coffee cups because I thought they would make great chocolate pots for a, a pudding. Unfortunately, my daughter broke one of them, so I've only got three. So they've never actually been used for that. And I don't drink coffee, so I'll have to think what else I can use those for. Got these lovely little Cornishware bowls, which I wish we'd use these last night. I forgot that I'd got them. So this is a really good exercise, getting things out. It's really made me remember some of the things that I've got that I'd forgotten about. So those are really, really lovely. And this, again, is a really old Cornishware jug. I just haven't seen one of those. It looks as though it's the, had its bottom cut off. And in here are just old paint cheese, which last year I had these hanging on my Christmas tree and just put them in there for safekeeping. Ah, oh, yes. So just recently I've been really getting into leaf wear. So I just snap these up whenever I see them. When I say I snap them up whenever I see them, I mean at a car boot sale or at a charity shop. I don't like to spend too much money, although I have to say the shops sell such lovely lovely jugs and bowls and so maybe one day I'll get lured in and spend a bit of money. I've got this really cute little leaf jug which we used at Christmas with some cream for mince pies. More along the same type of thing so a strawberry plate. That looks as though it probably would have had something sitting on it at some point. And then some really pretty daffodil plates and flowers as well. Look at those. So beautiful. I'll have to use those in March when the daffodils are out. They've just come out. In fact, I have actually seen my first daffodil and I'm going down to Cornwall soon and I know that the daffodils will be out down there. So I've got a few of these beautiful sponge printed bowls, which in the summer, I love having salads in these. And then the bottom bowl is just one that goes with the everyday set that we use. Still vintage, but we just use it every day. This is a more modern Cornishware bowl, which we use for salads, but it also goes in the oven as well. It's a really handy serving bowl. This jug I love purely because I was with Rowan when I bought it and um, she just loved it. And I think it cost me, it was about 50 pence or a pound in a yard sale. So in a village yard sale. And we don't really use it that often. We must try and use it a bit more, but that makes me smile so much just to think that that was a few years ago and she just loved it so much. She was probably only about 12 at the time. When I buy plates, I mostly buy plates that are part of a set. So I have at least two, preferably four, five, six. But sometimes I just see a plate and it really attracts me and I buy it. And then when I'm at home on my own having lunch, I'll just make an occasion of it. So these are my sort of on my own plates, although I have got a couple of these. So sometimes when Mark comes home in the summer, we'll have these. They've got beautiful plums and apples and strawberries on. So those are really, really pretty. This was a really, really unusual, I think it was Mason's, yes, Mason's plate. I can only think that this was a reject, but I absolutely loved it when I saw it. It looks as though they've started building up the pattern 
maybe it was a, a practice piece. It looks like they've started building up the pattern and then not finished it, but that was really unusual. And I love using that one. And this was one that I bought recently. I actually used this for lunch today. I love that. And you'll notice that even though they are all mix and match, I'm quite consistent with my colours. So if I wanted to, I could get various plates out and it'll work. So those are my home alone plates. There's a beautiful old breadboard there. Love using that with some nice fresh bread. Now, lots of this is china, but I do also love pottery. So when I see beautiful hand thrown pottery, I'll pick that up. And these just make great serving dishes and they go with my decor. So as long as they're the right colors and a good shape and I like them, I'll pick up these as well. So we use these all the time for serving bowls. Really would like to build up my collection of pottery because I just think it's so tactile. Various ramekins. So these are actually cider drinking bowls from France. I had a whole set of those. I've only now got a couple, but I've had these for 30, at least 30 years. I think I had them when I bought my first house. So yeah, 30 years. Some Cornish ware, ramekins, and a, a little wooden one, which again, I've had for a long, long time. Again, 25, 30 years. And I use these things all the time. When I was getting everything out earlier, I realised what a ridiculous amount of egg cups I've got. <laughs> so let's show you. So first of all, I do like these sort of touristy ones. We've got lots of these, mostly Norfolk ones, but I don't know which, that's a um, Welsh one, I think. Kings Lynn, Munsley, Ailsham. So when we first moved to Norfolk, I think that I went a bit mad buying those it's got a bit out of hand really i've got too many um great yarmouth another norfolk one love this that's a i think that's a cornish wear one just a very unusual polka dot pattern and a few more cornish one cornish wear ones too now, I've got so many egg cups that I've decided that at the Easter time, I really need to do something with them. So I'm going to think about a table setting. So either I put little flowers in them all along the table, or I could fill them with eggs and put them all along the table. But I've got to use them because it's, it's, it feels as though it's a collection that's out of control. That one was made at the Emma Bridgewater Potteries. And I think, I don't know whether Rowan or Immy made that one, but that's a something that they made. I won this one from Plum and Ashby a few years ago on Instagram. Now these are sweet. So I've got a collection of these willow pattern ones and they're really pretty but what I love about them is they actually come with these plates as well. So for each egg cup there's a little plate. It just goes on and on and on. Let's pack all the egg cups away. It's just a ridiculous amount. <laughs> and we've also got more egg cups in the Indian tree pattern and I can't remember the last time I had a soft boiled egg must change that as well as these lovely little willow pattern plates we've also got some even smaller plates some spode ones and these are great I love putting these on a table and they're great as little spoon rests or as I mentioned about Easter, you could put little Easter eggs on or a little sweet. You could serve a little truffle or something on them. So these are really, really sweet. I do love those. I love him. That's a Kath Kidson pie funnel and I absolutely adore him. Really should use him soon. I love Spode, absolutely love Spode. And I bought this little plate a couple of years ago, bowl, I should say, a couple of years ago. And I bought this because when I worked in a china shop as a Saturday girl, when I went off to uni, they gave me a bowl just like this. And I had it all through uni. And then at some point it got broken. So this was really reminiscent with its little scalloped edge of my uni days. And then 
I've got some, just some side plates as well. Oh, I just really want to invite some people over for tea and cake or scones and uh, just, just use these things. Another egg cup. This is a beautiful sauce boat. It's a French one. But again, this looks great with spring bulbs in or some flowers. So it's got multiple uses. Put that at the back. Still packing everything away. Just got some glass butter dishes. That's the B pattern that I've got the um, wine glasses in as well. So definitely need to be inviting people around for jam and scones with lashings of butter. This, don't know whether you can remember, if you watched me doing a car boot show and tell last year, I picked this up and this is great. So for my single plates, I won't get a single one out because it, they're under there, but for my single plates, I can elevate them into cake stands. So this just clips on and makes a really lovely sandwich plate or cake plate. I love that. Look out for some more of those. Should put it somewhere where I don't forget about it there. So you can see that I love colour and so in my early 20s I was all about the white. Then I love colour, blue and white, pink and white, black and white, any combination really. But then I absolutely adore this Wedgwood pattern. So I've started collecting this and I actually will pay good money for this. Now, in actual fact, I saw some in a charity shop just this morning and I didn't get it because it was a coffee pot and coffee cups and I just don't drink coffee, but um, I, I was very tempted. So yeah, I love this pattern. And if you're a fan of Downton Abbey, you may recognise this as the pattern that they use um, downstairs in the servants' quarters. I'm just going to put my glasses on so I can tell you what the pattern is. I'll go to it very silly now, aren't I saying it wrong? I call, I'm going to call it Edme. So I've got that. And then um, whilst I'm collecting that, I saw this one. And I'm trying to really collect a whole matching set in this. But this one is also Wedgwood. And this one is Patrician. And so those go really nicely together. So I've got quite a collection of that. I've got soup bowls and serving bowl and some side plates, bowls, dinner plates. So I'm really building up that collection nicely. And this is one that I tend to have out at Christmas time, something a bit more formal really. So normally I'm all about the relaxed dining. Now and again, I like to get the, the big guns out and go a bit more formal. And that's where I go if I want to do that. So, oh, no, I don't think I've showed you these ones. This is my blue and white collection. This is where we went to last night with Marks. We had a pale blue um, tablecloth and then blue and white. Now, I love that one. I'd even go as far as it's probably my favourite pattern. But when we do blue and white, everything is mixed and match. Now, Rowan actually wants to take those ones with her. Um, so everything is mix and match and the more mixy I can go the better so last night just the four of us we had a separate plate each a different plate each but um, I just go out of my way to collect as many blue and white ones as possible so I've got some platters there some plates as you can see lots of side plates can I see one that I bought recently so that was one, these as well. The more I can mix it up, the better as far as I'm concerned. I think that's it. I think you've seen everything. So I hope you enjoyed that. I do use each and every piece and I get so much pleasure from it. If you did enjoy this and you haven't subscribed already, please remember to do so. I'll also add a link to buy me a coffee in the description. So if you would like to contribute towards my creative videos, you can buy me a coffee. And thank you for watching and I will see you again next time. Bye for now.